Welcome back, Zero K fans, to another exhibition match. Time we have a match between Ivan D and Magman on Baron. Now let's get started. Not much to be said about that. Ivan D I haven't really seen play much before. Going for Shieldbot Factory. Magman, on the other hand, I've seen play quite a lot. Going for Jumbot Factory. And last I saw was, well, in 1v1 tournament, where they were doing pretty well, although they got knocked out in round two. But I believe it was, it was them and Moratorius Mortis. I think. Z Magman won, but then lost to. It was Cube. Anyway, I have D on the other hand. I don't know who they are. They don't have any aliases or anything like that, so I have no idea what they play like, who they are, how well they are, but apparently they're better than Magman by Elo. So that's interesting to note. This is a fairly even but mid game match. Well, fairly even mid level match. I have D going for rather late harassment, going for the bandit. And not scouting with the dirt bag, just going to the center with the dirt bag instead. Well, Magman goes for a much more typical start with a pyro. Well, pyro into freaker into puppies. Now the puppies are a little bit more unusual, but the pyro is not at all unusual. Getting rid of the dirt bag as well, but that is a bit of a distraction. Ivan D could take advantage of that just to have that extra bit of time, maybe build up some rogues, I suppose. Shield against jump bots a little tricky, but bandits are fairly tough. So against the pyros, that won't be too big of a deal. Just some bandits will be lost in the process. That is one thing. It, to point out, bandits will die. Not all of them, but a lot of them will die. Anyway, Ivandy is pushing to defend, D is aware of Magman's incoming pyro, and well, we'll see how that works, but it's probably going to go in Magman's favor. Two pyro. Uh, no, no, no. Ivandy's commander is here, so the pyro cannot easily push in. While more puppies coming in, the four, four of the five puppies are in, and we're into moderator territory right now, which is not a bad idea, though... Well, actually, I should point out that flames do not penetrate shields. Actually, that was a... that's an old change. In quite some time, flames do not penetrate shields, so... Thugs wouldn't be a... well, okay, thugs would be a terrible choice because pyros move too quickly. But thugs still wouldn't be a bad choice overall, just... Yeah, bandits are a good choice. Still, it's a bit of a tricky, a bit of a tricky question of unit selection for shield versus jump bot from the shield perspective. However, that pyro needs to be careful though. If it gets hit by that outlaw, that'll slow down probably too much. And actually, the lotus is that's the big thing that gets rid of the pyro. Lotus's counter pyro is pretty handily. I mean, one on one pyro will barely win, but when you have two lotuses, that just not that just stops it. Now, Magman moving with the puppies instead, which... Oh man, with this outlaw here, that's going to be a problem. That's going to be a major problem right now. Now, the puppies, if they go into a line... F no, if they go into a line first, it won't matter. It's like... You kind of have to time it right, but really, against outlaws, it's just tricky. But yeah, thugs... Thug and outlaw is what Ivan D is going for, which is a pretty good move overall. All things considered, the moderator slowness of thug can deal with it. The Pyro is the only real problem, but the Moderators are what Magman's focusing on, so Thug Law is a good response. That really is the response to go for, and Magman at the same time has been expanding along the center, well, through the center line, center trench, kind of going towards the southwest. Which is good, as they've been attacking and harassing, just getting more and more of an economy, just getting that much stronger of an economy, getting an edge, getting whatever edge they can, which is what you should do in this game. As I mentioned in the first game, when you attack, expand. Because your opponent can't easily stop you from expanding when you're attacking. And that's actually a basic skill in RTS games in general. It's actually... That's a fundamental skill in an RTS game, I'd say. At least... Most games. RTS games are kind of tricky. It, most RTS games don't really... It's hard to define a set of fundamental skills for RTS games, because a lot of RTS games, it feels like, try to make there be no fundamental skills, or whatever the fundamental skills of... Or whatever the important skills of one RTS, they almost try to exist by countering that to some extent. I don't really want to go into details right now because that's not relevant. This is not what's going on. What's going on? These puppies coming here, getting killed without being able to do much, unfortunately for them, but fortunately for Ivan D. So no damage dealt to Ivan D. A lot of damage dealt to Magman by losing those puppies for basically nothing. And more moderators being built up. And Magman, those moderators are really expensive, and I think it'll come down to how well they're used, but it is going to be tricky. I, like I said. Thugs will pretty handily counter them. Pyro coming in as well, which 
doesn't do a whole lot of good, unfortunately, thanks to being slowed down. And Magman about to lose their commander from the looks of it, or at least getting heavily threatened. The moderators are in a pretty good spot. The thing is, the moderators, though, needs to have more than one, and down that one goes. Like, single moderator is not going to do it. Honestly, I don't know if a single any unit is going to do it. Thuglaw is just tricky to counter. Now, Jax actually probably would do a decent job. Placeholders would also help out just to stop them, allowing the moderators to kite. So placeholder moderator would be a good idea. I think Jack just on its own would be a good idea. Or possibly Jack uh, Jack Power wouldn't really work out too well. But yeah, Jack on its own would work fairly well, I think. But placeholder moderator is probably the best bet. Our Freaker coming in a bit too close. And Metal Age Tractor's going down. Ivan D successfully pushing in. It's not really a raid. It's more of a just direct assault. And Outlaw, one of the Outlaws caught out, caught outside of the shield ball. Does manage to get under it eventually, but does lose a fair amount of health before that happens. And once again, going out, getting out of the safe zone, getting killed as well. Ivan D losing an Outlaw for no reason whatsoever. That really was not the way to go. But Ivan D unfortunately does lose that Outlaw and decides to retreat as a result, or at least regroup. Getting a few more Outlaws and Thugs in there. We're still seeing Thug Outlaw, though a Felon will be coming in fairly soon. Within the next minute and a half or so, we will have a Felon. And once that's up, it's going to be a bit trickier for Magman to push through. Although these, yeah, the moderators don't have that much health. So they are not going to be able to push this through that to push this forward as well as I had initially thought. Jack's I still think would be the best option overall. They just would survive long enough and they'd be able to deal the damage needed. they get close enough that the shields wouldn't matter because they attack in melee. And they'd last long enough the outlaws wouldn't do much. Nor would the thugs. Not in time. But it doesn't matter though, Magman instead is going for a raid with the moderators, a bit of an odd sentence to say, but yes, yeah, so going for a raid with moderators, trying to get rid of this Lotus here, and trying to get rid of, well, as much as they can, really, and, huh, I think I even need just manually turned off that solar collector, prevent it from being damaged too quickly, interesting choice. By the way, moderators coming in, and this is the risky part, moderators have a really low rate of fire, and because of that, it makes it rather difficult to actually deal any meaningful damage with them. And the puppies, on the other hand, the problem with them is trying to get through all these shields. I mean, enough puppies will break it, but that's a lot of puppies they have to use to break that. Yeah, moderator rate of fire is not great. Four moderators aren't bad in this case, but yeah, moderator rate of fire is quite low. It's like 10 seconds. Yeah, 10 seconds in between shots. <laughs> really not a whole lot of leeway. If you screw up that shot and with shields, there's really not much choice. I mean, the shields just block everything. And since the shields are all nice and linked up, there's not much the moderators can do. And the puppy's going to try, but once again, same problem. Scuttles actually would also be a really good idea. The scuttles are very expensive, and that would be tricky to pull off properly. But that wouldn't be a terrible idea overall, especially if they were hidden. Well, the scuttles actually do... No, scuttles remain cloaked while moving, I believe. So that would be a way to go for as far as suicide units are concerned. With all the puppies being built, yeah, I mean... More than 11 puppies have been built, that could have been Scuttles, and it would probably be more effective as well. Anyway, the Miters are coming in, and the Felon is up as well, and this Felon is going to become a major thorn in Magman's side. Though Magman, I should point out, has been expanding along the entire map at this point. Actually, it has double the economy of Ivan D. The problem is just the unit choice. But the economy is actually fine, and the unit production is considerably higher. But the actual units being built are not the most effective, at least not dealing with the Shield Ball. Now, avoiding the shield ball is working out okay, and applying soft pressure around the map is what Magman's been doing to decent effect. Not that much pressure yet, but with these puppies coming in here, that will, I think, push Ivan D just to attack directly. I think Ivan D will push forward, go for the kill, unfortunately possibly losing a lot of outlaws in the process, they're not careful, but yeah, go for the kill with that, as Magman just basically tries to kill off Ivan D's base first. Remember, Magman losing their commander in the process, that did take out a lot of the Felon shields, but even with that, not a whole lot of the shield ball was reduced enough. And there's enough thugs there to recharge that Felon quickly enough that ultimately didn't really amount to much. There was no real opportunity to deal with that. And at the same time, air switch over from Magman, which is a good idea. And the puppies are moving to south! There are the puppies! There they go! Moving south to get rid of Ivan commander, and there goes Ivan commander, evening that part out. And getting rid of the north side of Ivan base's defenses. Not a bad attack there, and a follow-up attack coming in immediately after with puppies. More puppies coming down. 
to get rid of basically everything else. Get rid of the caretakers, get rid of the wind generators, get rid of the lotuses possibly as well. And on top of that, ravens to get rid of... Well, the Thelen would be the big target. That'd be the one to get rid of first. Because at this point, Ivan D is slowly but surely approaching here and... No, bad target. Need to hit the Felon. Two Ravens on that Felon would kill it and stop this assault pretty easily. Or at least massively reduce its power. Wouldn't stop it outright, but it would reduce the power greatly. Magman just using the commander to build up more and more puppies. Again, that reclaim Grey Goo mechanic, which is is one of the puppies' greatest strengths. And it's working out decently well. The one of the puppies does go down there. Again, a bit too close to that low. Or no, a third Lotus has been built. That was the problem. Third Lotus being built in this Caretaker, that's the main target. There we go, getting rid of the right targets, though Ivan D actually doesn't have much economy right now. Ivan D's main strength is the fact that they are right inside Magman's base, destroying everything Magman has, and Magman's economy is actually focused entirely outside of their starting position, and Magman's gonna lose their starting position, actually. Nothing here to stop it. All they have is this airplane plant, which, building up Raven slowly but surely, but not killing that felon quickly enough, and because of that, unfortunately for Magman, they're gonna lose the main base, Ivan D has enough of an army, they can just go around the map, tearing apart all these Metal Riders and stopping Magman from basically doing anything further. We'll see if that actually pans out though, but yeah, these... Which one of these Metal Riders are actually about 1.5 each? Well, okay, it depends on the Extractor. This one's 0 0.7? Really? Wow. Okay, yeah, these Metal Riders are not even. I think it averages around 2 each, but it's not actually 2 each. So Magman is... Magman's gonna lose this game. Moving a power room just to try to f tear apart what they can of Ivan D's base. Actually, oh, nice position! Gonna get rid of the shield factory with the pyro. There's barely any health left. And the Vandal can't do anything against this. The pyro able to stop the factory from building up anything and kills the factory, destroying itself in the process, but killing the factory regardless. And one of the Lotuses as well for free, as well as a wind generator, but yeah. Shield block factory's down, but Magman cannot really can't, no, can't stop these at all. Does not have enough firepower to stop the incoming army, and Ivan D will win as a result of this. And due to the lack of power, can't really build this either, so Magman throws in the towel, that is game! That was it. Interesting game, though, gotta say. Yeah, jump up versus shield. Thuggle up all! Although, I still think that Scuttles would have done a really good job against that, and Jax probably would have done a really good job against that, too. Or at least, it would have been nice to see them be used, just to test that out at least. Anyway, hope you enjoyed that, and that's actually going to be it for me tonight. So thank you all for watching, and have a good night everyone.